Hi, and uh, welcome to Ask an Atheist, a weekly educational call-in program dedicated to atheism, skeptical inquiry, and the separation of church and state. We are live from Scan TV uh, in Seattle every Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific time, and our program is archived online at www.askanatheist.tv. My name is Casey Dorn, and with me, my uh, Chewbacca to my Han Solo, Mike Gillis. Hey, how's uh, it going, Casey? How's it going, Mike? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> How good is pretty good? Um, moderately ditto. Okay. Or right. neato. That's fine. Yeah. Well, we, we've got a lot of, uh, we've got a good topic today, actually. I think this might be our most, uh, our most offending topic that we've ever done on the show here. We're, In your face topic. Well, we're young yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, I think first and foremost we should get all the announcements out of the way and whatnot. Um, after the show today, instead of going to the RAM like we normally would, um, we're back to back against the Seattle Atheist July membership meeting, which is uh, today at 5 p.m. at the Stone Soup Theater, which is at 4035 North Stone Way. And the, uh, actually I really want to see this, the, uh, the speaker is Harry Gilbert, who is a a science writer, a former science teacher, and a former rocket engineer. So if you ever want to talk to a rocket scientist, we're going to get the chance. And this is going to be on dark matter in the universe. So um, maybe it's a little geeky, a little nerdy necessarily. And I don't know how if dark matter relates to atheism, except that maybe dark energy is what fuels people's spiritualism. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we're going to be after the show instead of going to the ramp. So if you guys are in the area, if you want to come out to a good top, a uh, good talk, and you can meet us and uh, the rest of the members of the Seattle Atheists organization. Come on out. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a couple other, uh, couple other announcements. First and foremost, I wanted to give props to the Freethinkers United Network Meetup, um, which is basically a grouping of atheists, freethinkers, skeptics, people like yourself who get together on the first and third Fridays, I think, uh, for dinners with discussion. And they're also, this is all cross, uh, cross marketed with our own show so I guess uh, the Freethinkers United Network also uh, they get reminders to watch our show too so we're gonna pimp them. Um, you can find them on www.meetup.com and I think the next one is August 6th at 6 p.m. in Bellevue at the Maple Leaf Chinese Restaurant so if you want more information meetup.com and that's the Freethinkers United Network. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to have, if you are, an, I know we've done this before but let's keep doing it, if you're uh, an atheist, agnostic or free thought group in the state of Washington and you'd like to get some props here on the air, um, please email us at, uh, and you can find our email address at www.askanatheist.tv and of course all of our archive shows are there and uh, pretty soon we're gonna, have, uh, we're, we're gonna have an update to the website so we just saw some screenshots today and it's gonna be pretty exciting. Yeah, and actually the majority of our, our emails tend to come from people who want to know where the podcast is. And right. <laughs> so uh, just know that you have Sam successfully running, running around freaking out over this. So right. Yes. No, we're, we're, well. we're, slowly, we're slowly sort of spinning up to having a respectable uh, media, like internet media project. We're right? not respectable yet? Uh, no, we're, I think we're, we're sub We're disreputable. That's exactly where we want to be right now. Okay. Uh, so do you think we should move right into news stories? Oh, some news that stuff. works. We can do news stories. So you, I think um, you've got the first one and the most exciting one of the week, I think. Yeah, this is exciting. Uh, this actually is a bit of a chocolate peanut butter thing for me. You know, <laughs> two things that I love to talk about coming together. Um, the Westboro Baptist Church, uh, famous for uh, protesting military funerals, and the first um, successful implementation of live action internet trollery. Um, <laughs> they are going to protest San Diego Comic Con this year. Oh, I um, really want to be there. I would love I to really be. I would be love there. to be at San Diego Comic Con. Period. But the fact that they're going to be there too, they're probably going to be uh, some of the actually less one of the more interesting costume character shows uh, going on at. Uh, so, anyways, no, I, I, guess I would like to go there just dressed up uh, as one of the four members of the village people and have assless chaps on and just dance around in front of them. I think just really shoving it in their face, you know. I think, that'd be I, fantastic. I think they have a lot of assless chaps <laughs> shoved in their face over the years. <laughs> That's always the weird thing that I'm pushing around a paranoid, um, delusional person is that yeah. you just end up sort of reaffirming their, their paranoia that everyone is out to get them. <laughs> or instead, they're really just kind of a costume clan character. I had this actually, Sam and I were at the University Village Street Fair a few years ago, and there was one of those guys with a giant sign that said, repent or burn. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I gotta get a picture taken with that guy. But I, I initially thought that he was gonna say no. Um, because, I mean, if I, if I was uh, out there among, among the unwashed heathens, you know, screaming that they're going to go to hell and making sure I have a giant side to rub it in, <laughs> um, I would have simply assumed that anyone who has to take a picture with me is doing it to make fun of me 
because I mean you're in a group of people that everyone disagrees with you, and I, I'd have to assume, okay, this is a this is a trick or a trap of some kind. Right. And Sam Sam uh, basically said, no, they, these guy is here for attention. Right. And yeah. there was like no resistance. I, I walked up, and he's in the middle of an argument with just some random person about you know something biblical, and he was telling them that they were just going to go to hell. Right. And I just said, hi, can I have my picture taken with you? And he just goes, oh sure. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, he's uh, you know he's screaming from you know, oh you're going to hell, you're going to hell. Right. And, and immediately, oh yeah, I'll have my picture taken with you. <laughs> And um, yeah, I, got my, I even asked him to turn it around to the sign that says "Repent or Burn" because I thought it would make a more interesting <laughs> photograph. Well, in that instance, you know, just for all of our for all of our uh, atheist freethinkers out there, don't feed the trolls, even the live action one. Don't just don't don't do it. It's never a good idea. But uh, anyways, um, I guess this is what they were basically saying on their website. They said that uh, Comic Con uh, represents idolatry. Sure. Um, that uh, what was this? He says. If these people would spend even some of the energy that they spend on these comic books reading the Bible, well, no high hopes there. And I just find it, find it funny. I actually think there's better moral values you could get out of any comic book. I mean, at least one's not written by, like, Frank Miller. No. Um, <laughs> I think Frank Anything Miller... Anything from Sin City, probably not. Well, I, I think Frank um, Miller, the stuff he writes, generally has the same tone as the Old Testament in a lot of ways. <laughs> but um, I, I guess he was saying at some point, it says, the... The destruction of this nation is imminent, so start calling yeah. on Batman and Superman now and see if they can pull you from the mess you've created with all your silly idolatry. It, it feels like if the destruction is imminent, then why not just live it up? Like, yeah. then why not have the most immoral life possible? That's, that's what I find so funny is he's asking us to call upon two other fictional characters, Superman and Batman, and I would also make the argument that they're also morally superior than the God of the Bible, simply yeah. because Superman will save you whether you believe in him or not. That's true. It isn't like, you know, and the other thing too is that he's not like Superman created the, the trap with Lex Luthor or the parasite or whatever himself mm. and then promise to protect you from it as part of some like uh, some like protection racket <laughs> like oh well it looks like you're in trouble with this you know this you know this right. trap that I created myself who can save you from it well even even Batman as a character he has to go through many wrenching moral quandaries about whether or not he should should save or should not or should kill or should not like if if more characters in the Old Testament had the restraint that Batman did about wanting to murder someone or kill someone for justice then I think the Old Testament probably would have been a, a lot more readable yeah a lot I, more readable text. I just, I, it's like the, the equivalent would be if, if Batman actually broke the Joker out of Arkham Asylum himself right. and set him loose on some family and then hey I'm here to save you <laughs> I mean, that's it's just it's just a giant scam. But I just I find yeah. it hilarious that these guys. Well, um, there's going to be a counter protest to be sure. I mean, there, oh, yeah. there always is, and this time there's enough people that can uh, who, who like tongue in cheek sort of. Uh, you, you don't know, mess with nerds. I flash mean, mobs. They're going to be out there. I mean, it, it turns into it's just a simple game of poke the crazy people with right. a stick and giggle. <laughs> I mean, that's what they're going to get. They might not get the the screaming renunciations they get at military funerals, but. Well, oh, they're hilarious. Yeah, no, I think they'll be laugh. I think they'll be laughed out like they are before, but I mean more so with this 